So what parent-child interaction therapy really helps with is children who aren't behaving at school, kids who are on the verge of getting expelled from daycare or from preschool or from their um, kindergarten programs. It's specifically for children ages two to six um, who've been diagnosed or have symptoms of hyperactivity, attention deficit, deficit disorder, things like that or kids um, who are displaying really aggressive or oppositional behaviors. So the parent and the child are in this room, or the caregiver and the child are in this room, and behind this one-way mirror, I am on a headset talking with the parent over the speaker, coaching them on what to say. For children who have developmental delays or autism, we're able to adapt parent-child interaction therapy to help them as well. You have such a good memory too, it's very important. Yeah. So to speak. Very good. But it, 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 when I'm talking to him, he talks back because the, of the setting that we're in that was created when we're hey, actually Dad. in therapy because hey, this is therapy. Therapy Dad. can be wherever you're at at that time. He's in charge, he's in control. I'm following his lead, allowing him to be uh, objective uh -huh. and uh, creative. And I'm listening to him. I'm, I'm feeling what he's saying. I'm, I'm, I'm communicating with him. And when you know, I give him appropriate praise, instead of telling him what to do, I'm, I'm, I'm working with him. Thank you for taking your time and helping me out, too. You're welcome. When those times come in, in my life and in his life, when we need each other, we'll know how to approach each other. And not just that, but he'll know how to play with other children, how to be uh, more of a friend to his friends at school, not being a bully because we're not going to do bully things while we're having special playtime, and all of that, all that surrounds each other, and it's like a, it's, it comes full circle, you know, because love and affection, I don't care who you are, how much money you have, everybody needs love and affection. When he wouldn't talk, man, and I was really, really concerned about that. I was really, truly, honestly concerned. Well, be careful. Be careful. What? Yeah, get my little rag when he see me sweat. Uh -huh. <laughs> what are you doing? Nothing. What are you doing? You're helping your daddy? Does he always do that or is that a new thing? No, he, he does it because uh, he sweats too. And we both, daddy. you know. Yes, sir. Mm, give me a big old hug. Thank you. Thank you for helping me out and wiping my forehead off. <laughs> Thank you very much. Good job. I'm Saul's teacher. Saul used to have a lot of tantrums and he had a hard time listening throughout the day. What we're seeing is that he is beginning to um, respond better when we do give him directions and he's becoming less aggressive throughout the day. He's having an easier time keeping his hands to himself and using his words to express himself, which is an important part of our day. Once you learn these techniques and you can do them all the time, every day, all day, until you really feel that that child is really, really understanding what special playtime means and bonding with that child. And parenting doesn't come with a guidebook. If I had a million dollars, it could, it could not compare to having that relationship with your son, your child, you know, that no amount of money in the world couldn't buy that, you know. It's the hopping, he said hopping, it's hopping ball. The hopping ball. And then that could be a negative too. Because you don't want to use words like don't, no, can't. You want to use positive words as in, yes, you can do that. Uh, oh, you're very really good at pulling the bag, uh, the bag out of the box. First off, it helps dad become more comfortable with the things that we are already saying to him as far as different language and approaches and strategies that we use in school that he can also carry over in the home. It helps bridge that gap. Uh-uh, come on, cut it out, cut it out, so. You gotta stop, stop, stop. Sit down on the, we're talking over here, so you gotta, you gotta, you gotta let us talk. When you hear people talking, you gotta wait until they finish talking, right? right? Good job, thank you for listening. It's a commitment, you know, but it's one that's gonna help your child. 
so that when I'm dead and gone, I want Saul to be able to function as though I was still here. I want him to be able to uh, carry himself like a decent person, a good man, and not be afraid of things, people, places, or things. It's simple.